Hey y'all, am I crooked? Hey y'all, welcome to Moxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and I'm filming in my thanks, my Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I am filming in my St. Patrick's Day get up. So please excuse all the grain. Um, I know this one's not gonna be aired on St. Patty's Day, but I did film one that was gonna be there. So that's, that's my excuse for being so bold. Uh, Miss Callie Cat, everybody, you wanna say hi, Miss Callie Cat? yeah yeah so today i have my wantable style edit it came in the same day as my everyday woman edit i just filmed that one so now i'm filming this one you will see them on two different days but if you do not know what wantable is it is a try before you buy clothing subscription they're really inclusive they have for women for men um they have active wear they have sleepwear they have the regular style edit they have those specialty edits i mean all kinds of fun stuff you can get why does it look like my hair's all crazy i don't know i hadn't been putting it in my clip and it i'm not used to it down anymore what do y'all think do you like the clip better or do you like it down y'all tell me i need an opinion besides my own <laughs> So they send you seven items. You have five days to try all that stuff on, decide what you want to keep, decide what you want to exchange, decide what you want to send back. And they give you two different ways to send it back. There is a pre-labeled envelope inside that is for UPS. And they give you, they print out another label, which is sticky too, by the way, that's on the back of your little booklet that has your pricing and everything that goes to the post office. So you can use the box that they shipped it to you in, put that on there, if you don't want to go to the UPS store. I think that is great. I love that they give you that option. Awesome. Uh, like I said, you can do returns and stuff like that if you want to, or exchanges. Your box will be $20. That $20 is credited back to you if you keep anything. So, yay, fun. If you do keep all of your pieces, you do get a discount. I think it's $25. I'll look on the inside because I can't remember how, what the discount is. Um, if y'all do want to try this box, I do have a referral link below. I would really appreciate it if you use my link. It does help me out and I appreciate it, y'all. You know, I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> I know, I'm a crazy girl. But I mean, I'm, I'm a crazy cat lady. What do you expect? <laughs> my son's all grown up. He's buying his first house. I, I, all I got is my kitties and my husband. And y'all, <laughs> all right, well, let me get the box. So here is the wantable box and we're gonna open it up. Here is what it looks like on the inside. They do personalize the sticker. I love that. So it says styled for Gina on here. Sneak peeks. Here's that envelope I was talking about. They've actually changed the envelopes recently and they've made them this cute color. They have the big W on them. I like that. And here is the little booklet I was telling you about. It does have the post office label on the back. It says, you deserve to feel beautiful and you truly do. Let's see what my stylist said. Hi Gina, spring is sprung. Uh, as we begin to dive into the warmer weather, these pieces will help you with your transition by adding a splash of newness to your wardrobe. Warmer days with chilly nights call for these comfy, cute layer pieces you can wear all season long. Sending you trendy pants for spring, longer inseam shorts, and a wide leg pant that would look great with your eyelet woven top. The dresses are for your YouTube videos or church. Can't wait to hear your thoughts at self-checkout. Welcome spring outfits. Enjoy, Karen. And there is a picture of Karen. I love that they show you who's styling your boxes. It's just, I don't know. I love to put a face to somebody. So, yeah. And, you know, I'm so bad about, I, I want to put a face to y'all. Um... If you go up to my main page, I do have a link to my Facebook page. If you want to, you know, take a selfie, say, hi, this is me. So I will know who I'm talking to 
and loving so very much. I would love that. Um, also, Instagram. I have Instagram, too. It's not under um, Unboxing Discovery by G, though. It's actually under um, Taken Heart 0819. I think it's linked on my info page. I'll look and make sure. So, in this box, my merchandise total is $450.50. If I kept everything, where, where does it tell me if I kept everything, what my discount will be? It says if I keep everything, my discount will be $90.10. But where does it tell me? I'll look that up and I'll pop it over here or something. Tell you what the percentage is if you keep everything. Of course, I would get my $20 selling fee back. So, my total if I keep everything, will be $340.40. Does the rattling paper bother y'all as much as it does me? I just find it kind of irritating to hear that rattling. So, this is Rococo. R Rococo? We don't know. But, it is a pretty yellow dress with these pretty blue flowers. Feels pretty polyester-y. Looks a little wide. It does have a cinch here at the waist, and it is a little short. Let's see. The sleeve is it's nice and wide, elastic. Um, here's a button on the back. Not sure how I feel about this one. It says it's in a large. I'm very tired of the oversized trend, y'all. It is 100% polyester. Hanger line dry see at what it costs us. This is a floral plant short sleeve boat neck dress in yellow size large $58. I'm not sure about this one y'all. What do y'all think? We'll try it on and we'll see what it looks like. Ooh, I like the colors on this one. Look, it's green and purple. Green and purple. Um, it's gonna match. <laughs> this is Corey. It is also in a size large. Oh, look at the cuteness. So, it's got the wrap here in the front. There is no modesty button. It's got a little bit of a ruffle on the sleeve. This one's cute. Oh, it's got pockets. It's got pockets. Love a dress with pockets. This would look adorable with a denim jacket just the way it is so very cute this one is right up my alley y'all it's got buttons down the bottom but since they're not at the top i won't have that problem so yay it gives you that look even though really you can't see them <laughs> because of the floral design um yeah i'm pretty tickled about this one let me see this is the cory america ditzy Fl ditzy Ditsy floral button down dress in moss green, $68. Oh, I may have to spend the $68 on you. It is 100% rayon, wash called separately, hang to dry, but oh my goodness, I love the colors. It is a little thin. All right, y'all, does this bug anybody else when there's loose strings like that? It just makes me wonder about the sewing of it all and how well it's made. I don't know if that would be a problem or not. They don't look to be like they're causing any issues or anything. It's just one of those things. If I'm gonna pay $68 for it, shouldn't it be immaculate? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on now. Rant over. My sewing friends, y'all let me know what you think. Uh, oh, Vince Camuto, polka dot top, cute, very sheer. Um, size large, this would be a great, you know, under a blazer type top, cute for church, but it is very sheer. I may have to wear something underneath it. Cute. Vince Camuto sleeveless polka dot v-neck blouse in rich black large $59. Tumble dry low, okay. I love a V-neck. Y'all know I love a V-neck. I feel like I'm strangling to death with this necklace. It's supposed to be long, but you, you it would get lost. And so I decided to wear it as a choker, which chokers are coming back in. I don't like them so much, but that's what I did, okay. 
All right, what? What are you? Lucky Brand, Los Angeles. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but the boxers over there snoring. <laughs> okay, cute. It is gathered. It kind of that baby doll feel. I don't know that I love that. It is a cotton top. Cute little pattern. I must say cotton. Watch, it won't be. 80 cotton, or 60 cotton, 40 modile. Time will dry low. I mean, this one's cute. I'm just worried about how it'll hang on me. All right, moving on. Okay. How can I always pick them up backwards? This is a democracy size large. Oh, that's cuteness, y'all. Oh, can y'all see the cute little eyelet and the cute little embroidery flowers? I hope y'all can see that. I can't tell if y'all can see it or not. But so cute. Cute little flowers. Let me hold it up. There we go this is adorable it's got a little bit of a lacy around here v-neck it's got elastic sleeves with that detail there too oh this is cute this one's cute i like this one a lot <laughs> rayon wash cold in a laundry bag delicate cycle reshape and line dry cool iron if needed on the reverse side only. Okay, so Democracy Embroidered Eyelet Woven Top in Rose Smoke Large, which is a 10 to 12, $68. Oh, it's expensive, but it is a Democracy Top. It's really cute, y'all. What do we think? Is it worth the price? Oh my goodness. Oh, cut from the cloth shorts. These are the Catherine Boyfriend shorts, size 10. Now, I don't really love a boyfriend jean, but maybe I like a boyfriend short. I mean, so it is sewn like this, so they would always look like that. I'd be afraid I'd need to iron that, though. Um, a little bit of distressing right here. Cute. I love cutting the cloth. Cute, cute. I like the length of them too. Catherine Boyfriend Short in concept size 10, $69. Mm. Yeah. Just love this stuff too much. Okay, moving on. Very cute. Can't wait to see what they look like on. And you are out. New York. I don't know if I've heard oat. But the green, you know, I love the green. They're cute. These are wide legs. They're a soft material. Are these pockets real? These are not real. So that's a faux pocket in the front, but the pockets in the back are real. Cute pants. Y'all, I wasn't sure I was going to like the wide leg. And then I got some cut in the cloth the other day and I kept them. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe wide leg isn't so bad. I oh, don't know. Let's see about these. They are oat high rise wide leg crop in dark olive. So, it's 30 $79. So, the prices are going to be what kills me because... Even though I think they're great quality, I think they're worth it. It's just a matter of staying in my budget, which I am horrible at because if I want it, I want it, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have fun trying all this stuff on. You know the drill, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna try all this stuff on. And y'all don't forget to comment and tell me what you think of everything. What you think is not worth the price, what you think is worth the price, what you think looks good, what you think doesn't look good. What you think of those loose strings on that dress? anything everything i want to hear it all down below um and I'd, I'd love it if you press all those youtube buttons while you're at it please press the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends and press that notification bell i'll see you in a second so here is my outfit of the day 
I'm wearing a shirt I got from Kohl's. These pants are Vintage America I got from Amazon. My necklace and my bracelet I got from Mongoose and these are from Roxbox. So what do we think of this outfit? This is what she suggested, the wide pants with this eyelet top. I think the eyelet top is adorable. I'd probably have to put a tank top or some kind of slip top underneath it because I feel like you can see, or a nude bra, I could probably just do a nude bra, but you can see the blue coming through it. I think it's cute. What do we think? I'm afraid I'd have to iron it. I'm afraid I'd have, I'd have to iron it because it, it just looks a little wrinkly. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the pants. I was afraid they weren't going to button. And because they're feeling a little on the tight side, I feel like it's making parts stick out. You know what I mean? But they are cute. And they do fit really tight right here. I feel like they're accentuating this. I don't know why. Maybe because they don't have pockets right. But... I love the material. Oh, don't bend over without holding them. They're cute. They're probably just not for me. I really love the color. I love the material. I just don't think I'll keep them. Uh, let me move on. What do we think of this? I mean, kind of on the fence. I mean, I think it's okay. It's just this that bugs me. So, I don't know. And the shorts, such a good short, great short. Matter of fact, I just feel like they're just not quite up high enough for me. My belly button's like right where the button is, which to me, I consider a mid-rise because most of them will come up higher if they're high-rise. So to me, I feel like all my flupa will stick out. Great looking short. I can already see where this may need to be ironed. Stay straight though in the back it just seems like it's on this leg they're wanting to flop over so i don't love that because i don't iron her so that may be how i justify saving myself that money to spend <laughs> uh let me try the next top on in those dresses this is cute but it almost feels just a teeny tiny bit oversized which is unusual um, and you can see my bra like crazy on the sides and you know if it got pulled you could definitely <laughs> Uh, but otherwise a nice shirt and like I said it would look great underneath something for church I just don't know if I would keep it because of that I'm um, kind of on the fence I'll think about it dresses y'all I hate it. <laughs> it it's just not working for me it's it's just doing something funky here and it uh, it's got pockets it, it it catches right here because this post <laughs> It's, it's really bad for me for me um yeah no 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 what is it I don't see anything oh I gotta get out of this one <laughs> indecisive about this one I think it's super cute it's got pockets, it's nice, it's flowy, it's flirty, but I'd have to wear either something underneath it or I would have to skillfully pen it to where it wouldn't do this, which would be hard. So I would probably find some kind of little lacy something and go underneath it. What do y'all think about that? Is it worth the trouble or should I just not? It's a midi length, midis are very in right now they're midis and maxi i mean you hear everything is in it, it doesn't even matter um i don't know i'm i'm on the fence about this one i need help comment below let me know what i should do i know what you want you want me to sit down so you can get in the lap let's, let's do a recap i'm back callie's back the dogs are back we're all back and I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is pretty cute. I really like the colors. 
My only drawback was the lowness here and figuring out what to do about it, but I honestly think I can get around that pretty easy with like a lacy top, something like that, a cami. Um, so I'm thinking about keeping this one. I'm gonna watch it back and see what I think. I don't really wanna pay the $68 for it, but I'm thinking about it. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. Okay, next. I really didn't like this one. I didn't like it at all. I'm sorry, I didn't. Um, am I the only one? Did anybody like it? Cause I just, I didn't like it. I'm gonna send this one back. This I like, I just didn't think it was the right size. Um, that was the only problem. And the weird thing is it's a large. So it should be the right size. And I'm, if I went to a medium, I'm, I probably wouldn't fit in it. But I mean, I'm not hurting for them enough to worry about it. I'm just gonna send it back. The shorts, I know you wanted my lap, baby, but I got stuff in my lap. This would have drove me crazy. This falling over, feeling like I need to iron it. So for that reason alone, I am gonna send these back. This one also just didn't like the way it hung on me. So it is gonna go back as well. I really wanted to like these, but I just, they weren't quite there. They were close, but they weren't quite there. So they're gonna go back as well. So if I keep anything, it might be this top and I still have to watch it back and see what it looked like on me. Um, is it inside out? I guess it is. What do y'all think? Did y'all like this eyelet top? I love these details. Now it looks inside out. It wasn't inside out. I'm so tired. <laughs> Non-scripted videos. Real life peoples. Real confusion of my life. Okay. All right. So I may keep this one. This is the only one I thought maybe I should keep. Do you think it's the right size? Should it be smaller? What do y'all think? Y'all tell me what to do about this top. So if I keep anything out of this box, it would be this top. I just don't know if I should size it down or what I should do. I will watch it back. Don't really want to pay $68 for it. Oh, or the green dress. See, my brain is already, I got lost. So, one of these $68 items could be mine. I just have to make up my mind about them. Like I said, I'll watch it back and see. Um, what do y'all think? What should I do? Help a girl out. Oh my goodness. I may have to start taking donations to afford my clothes habit and my makeup habit. <laughs> like anybody would donate to me. <laughs> All right, so. Y'all, thank you so very much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.